Former Purple Banditos, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we caught the remaining legendary Pokemon of this game, as well as got our Kanto and Hoenn starters. In today's episode, we are going to be making our way to the top of Mount Silver and taking on Red once and for all. Before we do that, we're actually going to head inside of the Pokemon Center and take a look inside of our PC at all the Pokemon who have helped us along our journey. Let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we can find. As you can see over here in the top left, we have Sunnyside the Togepi, we have Reddy the Gyarados, Incy the Ho-Oh, Snuggery the Snorlax, Kune the Suicune, Celebi, Uno the Articuno, Azula the Raikou, Mako the Entei, Ozai the Latios, Iroh the Latias, Surprisey the Lugia, Dose the Zapdos, Trace the Moltres, Bandito the Mewtwo, Verde the Rayquaza, Pichu, Spiky Pichu, Hope the Giratina, Arceus, Korra the Squirtle, Azul the Kyogre, Bolin the Trico, Groudon, and last but not least, one of the most important Pokemon and one of the best team members we have had, Stripes Arfurit, who without this journey would not have been possible. Another thing that could not have been possible without is you guys. So select one of these Pokemon and each one of them represents you. Pick and choose and one of them uh, will be you because without you none of this journey could have been possible. Okay, so now that we've took a look at the PC, there's only so much left. I'm actually going to show you guys the level ups. As you guys know, a lot of you told me that I should train up my Pokemon, so I have gone ahead and done that. Zuko, Velo, Sokka, Den, Aqui, and Glamis are all level 75 now. I think that's a fair level for this last battle, and I think it'll be pretty good. The final movesets that we're going to be going into the battle with for Zuko is Flamethrower, Double Edge, Rock Climb, and Blast Burn with the item Charcoal. For Velos, it's Fly, Sludge Bomb, Mean Look, Bite with the item Black Sludge. For Sokka, it's Aerial Ace, Brick Break, Mega Horn, Close Combat, and the item Muscle Band. For Den, it's Shadow Ball, Double Kick, Thunder, which we recently learned during training, Thunderbolt, and the item Expert Belt. For Aqui, it's Ice Beam, Earthquake, Yawn, Waterfall with the Never Melt Ice item. And for Glamis, it is Extreme Speed, Earthquake, Hyper Beam, which, which we just learned during training, Outrage, and the item Quick Claw. Those are going to be pretty good movesets. I believe we will be able to put up a heck of a fight with it. So I am very excited to begin our trek to the top. Let's go ahead and make our way inside of this mysterious looking place. And what could it be? The Mount Silver Cave. This is where we're going to be making our way to the top. It's not too long of a journey, but you know, you better have some repels if you're going to come in here and do it. Let's go ahead and use that rock climb, Zuko. We actually do need rock climb to make our way through here. So it's a very good idea that, you know, we kept it on our Zuko uh, and then we can just keep going on from here. We found an escape rope too. Pretty dang cool. I guess if you ever get stuck inside a cave, it's always good to have a rope somehow. I, I don't know how that works. How are you able to escape really deep locations with just a rope? I mean, are you tying it to the outside of something then making your way up? I don't know how that works. I pretty much know my path around here. A couple of you guys gave me a lot of tips. Well, a lot of you guys gave me a couple of tips. Yeah, let's put it that way. So I kind of know uh, where it is exactly that I need to be going. Let's keep going through this cave. It's pretty cool. It's 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 like mazy and puzzly. Um, I, I like it. I enjoy doing puzzly things like this that challenge our brains and stimulate our brain cells. Uh, let's just keep going on through here. This one just wraps around, I'm pretty sure, so we should be able to do this. I'm very excited for this final battle, guys. It's been a long time coming. Our team has been very, very strong, and we've built it together. So it's going to be a heck of a challenge, uh, you know, once we actually get into that final battle. It's going to really prove how hard, you know, we've been working together and how much our team has grown since the very start. I think I'm heading in the right direction here. I'm pretty sure I am, almost 99% sure. Let's just keep going through this cave. We're actually getting very close, if I am correct. It doesn't take too long to navigate through here um, if you kind of know where you're going. All right, yes, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and use Rock Climb a couple more times and make our way to the top of this mountain once and for all. We're almost up there climbing it. And this is going to be very, very exciting. I'm a little nervous for this. I'm a little nervous for this battle. Uh, but you know, what can I say? That That's how it's going to go. 
Whew! Let's use this repel. Uh, it's probably the last one we're gonna need. And let's go ahead and make our way inside of this last looking cave thing. Is this it? I don't know. Let's walk inside. Mount Silver Cave still. Let's keep on going. And there is one more rocks to climb. Hey, the wall is very rocky. Yes, we kind of figured that out. Let's go ahead and just make our way up then. And this is the door that will lead us to our final battle. Let's go ahead and walk right in. In front of us now stands a mysterious trainer in a red cap, and I get a feeling that he's been waiting for us all along. We have taken on two different regions, collected all 16 badges, defeated the Elite Four as well as the Champion, and now we stand here atop Mount Silver, ready to take on our final test. I'm going to go ahead and put Aqui in front like all of you guys suggested, then we will be ready to face our destiny once and for all. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Dot, 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 dot. Once and for all, here we go, Rodri versus Red! The final battle is here, Purple versus Red! We were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Red and his six Pokemon. Red's gonna send out Pikachu level 88, and I'm gonna send out our Aqui level 75. Red's Pokemon seem to be a lot higher level than us, so we're gonna have to pull together with our will and strength power in order to defeat him. Pikachu's going for the Iron Tail, I don't think it'll do that much. Aqui's a bit of a tank, so we should be looking good. We got hit by a crit though, so it's already looking not in our favor. Let's go for the Earthquake and just hope that we can get a big hit on this Pikachu and hopefully take it down and then continue on to the remaining five of Red's Pokemon. Pikachu is down, it's super effective, fantastic! We got it down with one hit, that crit didn't hold us back, that is good for us. We're gonna have to see who's coming out next. As you can see, there's also hail coming out, so we're going to be buffeted by it here and there in between our turns. Next up is Venusaur, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out, and we are going to bring out our Zuko. Zuko is going to be the best against this. We're trying to do, you know, some type advantages here, because I'm thinking that's going to be the best way in order for us to beat Red. All right, Venusaur is level 84. I'm going to go for the Blast Burn, and it seems like we have landed it. I'm hoping that if we could take down a level 88 Pikachu with one hit, we should be able to take down this level 84 Venusaur with our strongest move. Let's see if it's going to happen. Venusaur is down. We hit a crit. Super effective. I think we would have took it down anyways, even if it wasn't a crit. Um, we gained some XP. The hail continues to fall. And let's see what's going to come out next. Alright, Red is going to send out Blastoise, and I am going to switch out, and we are actually going to bring out Den. Now, if you guys remember, we actually learned the move Thunder while training, so I'm thinking this is going to be the best way to take down this Blastoise. The only downfall to it is that this move could possibly miss. If it misses, that could be very, very tricky. We went for the Thunder. It seems like we have landed it. Fantastic. Let's see if we can take it down. Come on, Blastoise. You know you just got electrocuted. Turn yourself into a nice little plate of a uh, turtle, and we'll eat you right up. Super effective. Blastoise is down. We are doing good. We are three for three right now, even though these Pokemon are way over our levels. Let's see who's going to come out next. And Red is going to send out Snorlax. Now, we do have a Pokemon ready to take on Snorlax, and it's Sokka's turn to shine. We have the type advantage, so let's hope that we can also, you know, start putting on some punches and taking down the Snorlax. I'm not sure if Close Combat will be able to take it down, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to go with our biggest moves as fast as we can and just pack as many punches into Red before he can retaliate. It's only level 82, so I don't know if we'll be able to KO it. Let's just hope we do. Come on, don't get red. Oh, goodness, it got red barred. Okay, I'm guessing red is going to go for a full restore next, and that changes our plans a little bit. Okay, that's making me uh, a little bit more nervous now, uh, since I know red's going to have a couple full restores uh, in store. Now, what I'm thinking is that, oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. All right, it was... It was Freaking almost at like 1 HP. Red went for the full restore. I'm going to go for the Brick Break. And now, hopefully the Brick Break will get it a little past half health. And then I should be able to follow up with another Brick Break and take it down since the close combat wasn't able to do it. The trickiest part of this is going to be surviving the hail and the blizzard that Snorlax has, which makes it a lot more powerful. Let's see how much the Brick Break did. 
Wow, that is doing a lot. That is exactly the amount I wanted. Probably should have gone with the Brick Break first anyways, but I wanted to take one good hit at it and see if we would be able to take it down with a strong move. Alright, let's go for one more Brick Break, and there we go, let's go for the Brick Brackety 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 And once and for all, that should take down this Snorlax. There we go, Snorlax is down, super effective. These Pokemon are really heating up now. They're really coming on to us and giving us a battle. Alright, let's see who you're gonna bring out, Red. Uh, let, let's let's take it on. I am ready to do this. Charizard is up next. I am actually gonna mix things up a little bit. Now I'm gonna send out Belos against Charizard. I want to get a couple couple different styles going in here. So let's see if Belos will be able to take on this Pokemon. Charizard is level 84. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I'm actually hoping to poison this Pokemon. If we can poison it, that would be very good for us because then it will have the poison and the hail as well as, you know, whatever other crazy damage we can put on it. Um, didn't poison it, did weaken it though. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. And it's hit with recoil. Great, we are burned. Okay, we are burned, that is not good. Uh, the only good thing though is that we do have black sludge. So that's gonna kinda cancel out the hail and uh, a little bit of the burn I would say. So it's good that we actually have that item on our Velos. Alright, we're a little hurt by the burn. I'm gonna go for another sludge bomb. I'm trying my best to actually poison this Pokemon because I think that's what's gonna make it easiest for our other Pokemon to come up and finish it. Alright, Charizard's going for the Dragon Pulse. Now we know it has Dragon Pulse, so uh, bringing out Glamis could be very, uh, very, very tricky. Okay, Hail continues to fall. Oh, please don't KO me, Hail. If I can just make it through this hit. And Hail has took down our first Pokemon, Velos. Um, Charizard is looking like it, it's about to go down, though. So I'm going to go ahead and send out Glamis and try my best to take out this Pokemon. I am going to go for the Outrage. And Red went for a full restore in the yellow zone. I see what you're doing, Red. I see what you're doing. You're trying to get that Dragon Pulse to hit me. Let's go for the Outrage, and let's just hope that it can do a lot more damage on Charizard than it would be able to with its Dragon Pulse. We got it close to half. I'm a little nervous now, though, uh, because Dragon Pulse could actually put some serious damage against our Glamis. The Hail is looking to be working in our favor, though. Charizard's going to go for the Dragon Pulse. Come on, Glamis, you can tank it. We've fought much, much, well, no, no, we haven't fought dragons that are this strong, um, but holy crap, we just got a big hit. We're going to follow up the Outrage, and let's hope that Glamis will be able to take down this Charizard. With a little help of the Hail, that would be really, really nice. And there we go, Charizard is down! Fantastic! Good job, Glamis and Velos. Took down the Charizard, that was awesome. Uh, that was really, really good. And we're going to see who is going to come out next. Lapras is ready to do this. I am going to go ahead and send out Den, and Den should be able to finish things up for us right here. This is Red's final Pokemon. We are down to the wire, and we're going to see if Red can pull out some magic tricks here. Lapras is level 80. Let's go for the Thunder, and it missed. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Things are getting tricky now. Lapras is going to go for the Blizzard, and it's going to make it super strong. I'm nervous, guys. We really need to get this thunder off. If we don't, things could get a lot trickier uh, than we expect. Let's go for the thunder once again, and this time we have landed it. That is good for us. Let's see how much damage this thunder is going to be able to do. I'm hoping that it can get it past half, maybe even in the red zone, and then we'll be able to follow up with another Pokemon. Oh my gosh, we got it red zoned. And we got it paralyzed. That's good. That's good. That's good for us. Uh, Lapras can't move. It is paralyzed. I'm thinking that Red will probably have one more trick up his sleeve uh, before he will allow us to follow through. Let's go for the Thunder. And there we go. I knew it. Trainer Red is going to go for the full restore and bring his Lapras back into this game. Red, you are a good trainer, my friend. But we are better. We missed! And <laughs> that is not looking good for us. I can't, I can't, I have to go with an attack. The, let's go with Thunderbolt. We need an attack that's going to be, you know, for sure to hit. And then I have a strategy left in mind in order to finish off Lapras if this Thunderbolt can't do it. Um, please get it close to half. That did a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, super effective. Lapras is going for the Brine. I don't know if that will actually take us down, will it? It has taken us down. And now, it comes down to this. 
the last selection of a Pokemon for us in order to take on Lapras. We began with Zuko, let's end it with Zuko. Here we go, one more time Zuko, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go for the Blast Burn once and for all. Zuko used Blast Burn and let's see if we can take down this Lapras. It is only level 80, so let's go ahead and do this. And Lapras is down, we have taken down Red Final Pokemon with our starter, our first Pokemon, Zuko. That is how it's done, fantastic. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Red, dot, 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 exclamation mark. We got 16,800 for winning. Dot, 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 dot. And with that, we have officially become the best trainer. We have defeated Pokemon Trainer Red, and now we stand atop Mount Silver as the one remaining champion. Here we go guys, once and for all, we are watching the credits. It has been an amazing journey, we have done this together and it has been quite an adventure. I can't believe we have come this far, I can't believe we have become the champion and now we are here just enjoying everything with our team. This couldn't have been possible without you guys. Thank you so much to all of you who left comments helping me. Thanks to all of you guys who gave me tips, who liked our videos, and you know, just, just had a great time with the series. It really means a lot to me when you guys, you know, help me and when we just came together. There's our little rival Jacob running around with us. Don't even know. Didn't even say hi to us. What a, what a nice guy. I'm going to have to give him a call later and be like, yo, dude. I just took down this trainer at top of Mount Silver. You missed it. It was a crazy battle. It, it has been a couple crazy battles indeed. And we have had, uh, you know, some, some really crazy stuff happen. And I'm just thankful that I was able to experience this with you guys. As you guys know, this was the first time I was playing through Pokemon Heart Gold. So it's been, it's been really, really fun. And I just had an overall amazing time with it. It brought back a lot of nostalgia, which always makes me happy. And it always makes me feel, you know, a, a lot more hopeful about everything. I love getting, you know, uh, those, those inspirational uh, feelings, those motivational feelings from the nostalgia and uh, it's definitely something that you know playing along with you guys and just playing together uh, it really brings to me as you guys know I always say it's let's play not I play and that's really what this is all about you know we come together we play through this together and you know with your tips and hints and cracking jokes at my own expense uh, which you know are always funny uh, you know we have made our way through the Johto and Kanto regions and you know defeated everyone uh, this was really, really cool. Definitely one of the most fun games I've played in a very long time. And I'm just thankful that I really had the chance to play it. As you can see on the bottom, there goes the little team running around away from us. See you later, Team Rocket. Good luck ever finding Giovanni, because I'm pretty sure he ran away into some weird place after we kicked his butt uh, back in time with Celebi. There goes Lance. He's like, oh man, this guy even took down Red. I don't even stand a shot now. There's the Elite Four chilling. It's, it's been such a fun adventure, guys, and I'm just really, really thankful you know to you guys for for helping me uh, through this game uh you know our team came together so nicely zuko velos aqui glamis uh den and Sokka, as well as stripes you know it couldn't have been built up without you guys and you know each one of you like i told you uh, you know are, are always really you know there in my heart and that's why I choose one Pokemon for my teams and it represents you and we have made it to this now guys stay tuned for let's play number eight which will be starting up shortly thanks so much for watching thank you for all your help this is the end of my let's play